Tutorial 88 assembly in Katia. In the previous tutorial, we show you how to use the constraint to make a precise positioning for your parts and make your assembly. And the constraints toolbox is found somewhere here. You can drag the toolboxes here if you don't see your constraint. And here you see your constraint toolbox. And we already used most of these constraints now i am going to show you another way to assemble your part with the manipulation tool found in the move toolbox so from its name it's move and give you the ability to move your parts in different directions now let's delete the constraint we created before delete and now we have this part without constraints so let's make this part to be or rotate this part to be vertical and also let's try to move these parts so first let's activate the manipulation feature and here you can see the direction where you can move your parts for example let's have x and choose this part and you are moving in x direction you want to move it in y direction so you can move it in y direction and z direction so it's quite easy to follow and if you don't see the exact direction you can look at the compass here you can see x is this direction and y in that direction and z in that direction so you know precisely where you are also you can move in the planes level for example you can move in the x y level you can see the x and y so you can move it in x y and y z can move it in y z and x z and here you have the, the move with the axis this is dragged along any axis so if you choose this axis so you will move in that axis and also you have two axes here and now let's show you how so we need to rotate this part we said to be vertical so we can know which direction need we rotate to it is this edge or this direction which shown here to be the x direction so we can choose x and rotate try y so we are in the y direction now we have it almost vertical and now again we can move it in z direction as we see here and y direction until you get your placing so you have an idea how you can use the move manipulation feature and it is not that accurate as the constraints where you can specify directions and surfaces distance angles and now another thing i got to show you here you can define an axis outside the original axis x and y z where you can rotate your part for example if I hover over this so I can define that axis in the middle the middle cylinder of in this block now you are able to rotate in that direction so let's deactivate and define another axis let's define this axis let's just hit and now again so now let's define this axis so you are able to rotate around that axis